Got a little storm rolling in. There's a little creek down the way. I want to check out. Let's get it. All right, so I ain't never fished this spot before, but it's not too far off a road. And it had been raining here a lot lately, so it might be a little flooded out. I just gotta watch myself out for some freaking big old snakes that might be lurking around here. Don't wanna get hemmed up in that kind of way. So I've never checked this area out. We'll see what it looks like. You know, right by some railroad tracks and all that. So since it is morning, we'll go with a little bit of top water action. I can't really see anything in it. It's not like it's flowing all that fast. It is up ahead a little bit, but this looks like a little flooded out area. So we'll go with a little spook action. Got this sucker out of a mystery tackle box. We'll see what happens. over here. I just realized I left my backpack in the dang truck, so that means I'm going to have to go back and grab it, especially if this spook don't start working out. I just had a bite, threw on a little weightless crawl, and try to go keep going to that same area. If I can't get something, but it, it, it bit on and then it let it go like right away. Line went super tight and then went to go pull and there's nothing there. So, let's see. Just had another curiosity strike. Oh, there we go. Come on, baby. Now one thing I did notice is there are little bait fish jumping around in here. I mean, they're small, tiny little minnows. So I could probably switch it up, try to make everything match the hatch. The only thing is, might be crappie in here too, which I love to eat crappie. I just didn't bring anything to really mess with crappie today. Well. It's pouring down rain now, and it's only going to get worse from here on out according to weather reports. So we're going to call it a day right here. But stick around because, well, as you're going to see here in a few seconds, I will be on the lake on Sunday, which is tomorrow, manana. So wish me luck on that day. Hopefully we'll do better uh, since we'll be on the lake. But hey, I thought I'd give this little crick a try. I do see that there is fish in here though. They got bait fish and I was getting tugged on by something. So might be worth coming out here later on. Probably even worth, you know, coming out here, bringing a, a little crappie rod and trying to catch some crappie. But anyways, y'all have a good one. I'll see you here in a few seconds. Yeah, um, all that creek fishing that I was talking about. Well, guess what? It's like two, three days later, it's a freaking Tuesday, that was on Saturday. Bottom line up front, huge storm went through, way bigger than I thought it was gonna be. So I didn't have a chance to, to fish at all. By the time it actually got clear, I had to spend those two days picking up the freaking pine cones and rip wrap and all that other crap that ends up falling in your yard. So I got off work a little bit early today. It is hot and sunny, so no, no, but I'm not gonna get another opportunity this weekend because I got that W word work to go to. So hopefully. See, come on, baby, please. All right, so I brought a few other baits with me, but for the most part, today I just really wanted to work on knocking down my square bill game. It's slightly windy conditions, about 80 degrees outside. It is mid afternoon, so we'll see what happens. I'm not expecting too much. Lake is chocolate milk colored lake right now. Nice, good stain to it. So I can't really do much sight fishing. I do see some fish busting up the front, so we'll see, see what's going on. Same time, could be some crappie. There are a lot of crappie in this lake. Also a lot of gar, sadly. We'll see what's going on. Hopefully, we'll catch a fish. Oh boy, oh boy. 
Talk about slower on. Stick stuck around uh, these docks over here for a little bit. Nothing really. So I came over to this small point, leads into a cove. See if it does anything or not. But at the same time, it is only 15:30. Oh, I'm sorry, 3:30. So it's still pretty early. Kind of hot. Who knows where they're at? See if they get active a little bit later on. Yeah, there we go. Get him, baby. Ah. Oh yeah, there we are, there we are. Not a monster, but hey, I will take him any day of the week. There we go, nice little guy. First one of the day. All right, hey, not too bad, not too bad. Nice little dude right here, first one of the day. Can't get no better than that, baby. Got it. Still pretty strong. Real fast. And goodbye. Alright, so that that was caught on a weightless crawl, watermelon color. Uh and I know that wasn't my main goal out here, but I was having a slow time. And it's just one of those confidence baits. And I I, I know the pros will tell you. Don't get too caught up on a confidence bait a lot of the times because then it keeps you inside a box. But shoot, when you know something works, it just ain't work. I really thought I was on the juice. I literally, when I caught that fish, I just switched spots. I was on like my second cast, went to my confidence bait. I'm like, sweet, bam, this is gonna be money the rest of the time. No, no, son. Right back to where I was, just dead. But. I'm not gonna lie, I'm glad I did come to this part of the lake because instead of a lot of uh, instead of a lot of man-made features around here, it's a lot of natural features, rocks, grass, and honestly, this lake is a from what I understand, it's a pretty heavily pressured lake. This is like my third time fishing here, and I used to fish the back part out in the swampy areas, and I didn't really have much luck there. Over here, you know, obviously one fish is much better than no fish, so getting a little bit better luck. Hopefully it wasn't just a fluke and I'm on to something, but as of right now it's been about 20 minutes since I caught that fish and I haven't had another response. So I might have to switch up my bait, might have to try something. I am trying a couple different locations now since I wasn't catching anything over there. We'll see if that works. Uh, and if you're wondering why I'm using a spin cast, because it's what I have my stuff tied on to at the current time that actually worked. So hey, whatever, it is what it is. Hopefully, we'll catch another one. At the same time though, it is uh, about 5.30. Sun's still up decently high, so once mm, the sun starts going down, that's when hopefully it starts heating up, but I won't have much time because I do have to go get home to the wife. I don't think she wants me gone too long, especially since it's a work week and I'm not really supposed to be doing this. She just made a nice little special exception for me since I was rained in the last two weekends and I got to work this weekend, so gave me a little bit of time to go ahead and work myself up. What the heck is this? Well, would you look at that? It's a little clam. A little clam. Somehow pulled that guy in. Oh, well. you know, there's like a little dock right behind me. Eh, let's do it. Well, sun's starting to set. I'm just gonna get mad if I don't come home. <laughs> I guess we'll call it a day with one fish. And... Eh, hey, call one, that's all that matters. Pack it up, call it a night. Hopefully I'll see you the next time. Artillery fishing, out.